His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. He needed a truck, a nice used truck, to drive to his new job at the Farmer's Co-op up there in Minnesota, up in cold country. So when he was flying for a job, um, he noticed somebody was driving in with a, an older truck. It's kind of rusty. And uh, he bargained with him and, and, and bought it. That was 38 years ago. Oh, nice. What did he do with it? He's still driving it. He's not even done anything to it. <laughs> He's got duct tape and Bondo and stuff, but it's still running. He's never really done anything to it other than change the oil. Is um, that the only car he has? Yeah, well, recently he did finally buy a pickup, but he still has that. It's a 57 Chevy. 57 is a good year. It's the year I was born. <laughs> wow, this is old as you? Yeah. That really is old. We last a long time without needing fix it up. How much uh, did he pay for this thing? He paid 75 data. And uh, you can tell he's pretty attached to it, of course. We kind of went back and forth on the price and ended up, I bought it for $75. It becomes a part of you, um, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It comes part of you, and he explained it well. <laughs> you know, a guy in a truck, he always falls in love with the truck, right? That's cool he still has it, he still drives it, and brings it to work every day. Yes, so he's now retired. Um, he didn't even replace the muffler when it went so his friends say well we know when bob's coming down the street you <laughs> can hear it huh yeah but that's a, and that's a cool truck that's one of those trucks that when you fix it up it looks really great we yeah are. he's probably gonna sell it for more than he paid i really well, admire that you could probably get more than 75 bucks yeah. how much you pay for your first car jim 350 really allison yeah. you even remember uh well mine was probably more of a gift was it? Oh, but I, no. I just think this is really cool, and I'm I don't I can't think of anything that I've owned that long. Like I'm not I'm not good at holding on to stuff like that. Like I mean, besides like my pajama pants that have holes in them that I've had since high school. Oh but. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh well, that would be like the truck. <laughs> I mean, do you guys have anything that you've like really held on to for decades, mm -hmm. like and used? I know I can't think of anything. I still have my Jeep. It's got 270,000 miles on it. Yeah, but it's not since 1950s. It's not 61 years old. I've held on to myself. Uh, you have, <laughs> yeah. You still have the same skin. Keep yeah. trucking. Oh, that's sad.